Yep. And no one better than you, the godfather of West Coast hip hop, to get that started. I think you just started something. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna have our own birthday. I like that. Let me get these super chats because I don't want to miss anyone's super chat. Shout out to Isaiah Edwards. Uh, he's a, he he says, Uncle Zoe, Hollywood is all for show. We all know the contributions of our heroes and founding fathers. We love y'all. Grammys ain't for us anyway. What's you, you know what? I uh I totally agree. And um you know, it's good if if we weren't as big as we were, they wouldn't pay us no attention. Okay, if we didn't have no billionaires and multimillionaires in uh in 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 uh in our in our industry, they would pay us no attention. They don't pay so far uh lo fi no attention, they don't pay uh reggae a whole lot of attention, they don't pay nobody a lot of attention. If you got some money, we're gonna pay you some attention. And that again, that again goes back to what I was saying earlier in regards to um, name value. The true art don't really have have the value of the of, of what the artist has projected. And, and understand what I'm saying. The true art of making music uh, is is it, it's overshadowed by the artists of the game. You know, Jay Z or Dre or somebody big. It's not a part of it. Nobody is interested, and that's what that's the world we live in right now. Yep, there it is, Marlon. Thank you so much, Marlon, for the nine ninety nine. He says, "We all know the truth, Unc. You are the beginning of West Coast hip hop. Give Unc and World Class Wrecking Crew their flowers. Don't throw it at them." <laughs> thank you, Marlon. Much love, Marlon. <laughs> real talk. Real talk. Well, let's, uh, let's keep it going, Lonzo. And before we go on, I want to ask everybody out there to hit, hit the like button if you haven't already. And please hit the subscribe button if this is your first time joining the show. But uh, 50 years of hip-hop. And once again, we put that in quotes, Lonzo. Um, did you ever think, did you ever think, because everybody else was saying what they were saying, but you, um, you always had your own mindset. Did you ever think hip-hop would make it this far to where I, I – we're, if we're not the number one, we're at least number two to country in, in genre nah, music. Yeah, no, nah. right? generating nope. money. Nope, nope. I can tell you some. Oh yeah, nope. I'm not gonna do that. That ain't, that ain't what I high roll. Uh, I thought it was gonna be something that was gonna be fun for a while. I thought it was gonna be something that was gonna make it was making money. And I think for me, what the part that really threw me for a curveball was when it went gangster. Um, because. Um, I just I just did a uh, presentation last week at a uh, at for Chase Bank, and while I was doing this presentation, it something dawned on me. I was talking. Lady asked me why that why there wasn't more why there wasn't more females in hip hop, and I said, you know something, hip hop, West Coast hip hop especially, took a uh, a, a di diversion from its roots real fast. Even the people that did it in the beginning changed up and started doing something else. What I mean by that is world class record crew, perfect example. We went from being uh anti-gangsters with songs like Gang Bang You Dead, Juice, Surgery, Fly, whatever the case may be, and uh lovers to turn off the lights, and half the group start shooting people. Okay. And that's the part I didn't I never I never I never thought that would be uh acceptable. Okay. <laughs> it's um and and uh, and again, they didn't start off doing that in the very beginning, but at some point in time, it evolved to that. And I thought at some point in time, somebody's going to shut it down. I, I I thought at some point in time, somebody would, you know, what we can't allow this right here, at NAACP, uh, NAACP or somebody, because again, you're talking to a young man who watched the NAACP shut down the black exploitation movies. So I just knew that one of these black groups. NAACP, Urban League, or somebody would step up and say, I can't do this right here. But it never happened. Again, I'm playing chess, but they playing, uh, I'm playing checkers, they playing chess. They had another, they had another another agenda that came along with other situations, crack, uh, uh, prison to school pipeline, all that shit came, you know, and I didn't see that. Man, I would never thought that would ever happen. I never thought I would, anybody I knew would have anything to do with that. So it's, um, it's really the, the answer to the question is no, nah, man. No, nope, I can't sit here and tell you I thought it would be. Nope. Mm, man. 
Well, I'm glad we are, because I remember my aunt and everybody telling me, and my grandma, and everybody like telling me that it ain't gonna last. It's a fad and all that. So I, I am glad that there, we are at least making money off of it. Um, but it, let's go back, Lonzo. Back, money. back. Go ahead. Go ahead. The question is: Is it really good money, though, Doc? Mm. You know, um, and 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 everybody. Oh man, they're making money. They're making money. But to what? To, who's paying the cost for them to make money? In a lot, a lot of, who's paying the cost? Offset paid the cost. Um, uh, a lot of artists, tw- 200 people paid the cost last year alone. We talked about most of them on this show. We talked about a gang of brothers in the last three, four years that paid the cost to, for hip hop. And that was never the intention, man. You know, when you take the, take the uh, focus off of having a good time and make it a murderous, vengeful, hateful situation, um, you get what you got, but again, you're still making money though. And if if the person, if the if the people in charge, only uh, motivation or only purpose is to make money, whatever happens ain't my problem. Give me my check. It's like the mafia in that movie, uh, uh, not, not um, Goodfellas. Fuck you, pay me. Two niggas got killed at the party. Fuck you, pay me. Baby got shot. Fuck you, pay me. Um, the, uh, a church got shut up. Fuck you, pay me, and that's basically the attitude. Yep. Anthony Atkinson doubling up on something he said. He said even MC Hammer started rapping, and that's what his ass disappeared too. That's what, when he went humping the bumps. He was a gangster in they, the song. They, they, yeah, when he went humping the bumps, Negro. You can't do that, right? They weren't ready for that. Hammer, Hammer. It, see, it, it, we were talking about. We, I was talking about Hammer earlier. <sighs> Let me calm down. Y'all talk. Y'all didn't got me fired up. I'm gonna have to lift the offering in a minute. Hammer was talking out of his career. I remember. I remember at my house, listening to the people tell me how Hammer can't rap. Hammer is sold out because Hammer got a commercial. He got a he got a Pepsi commercial. He got a chicken commercial. He, and people buying hammer pants. He got a cartoon. They all was hating on Hammer because Hammer was making money. Hammer was the first person, first rapper, to go commercial. Everybody else was doing a political thing, and we all know politics. A political shit don't get no money. Hammer was dancing with James Brown, Michael Jackson. Had a hammer, had his a hammer man a cartoon on Saturday. He was a uh, chicken commercial. He had Pepsi commercials. He was smiling and dancing, and they thought he was buck dancing. He was buck dancing all the way to the bank. Okay, but anybody that knew Hammer knew Hammer wasn't no joke. Don't let them dance in bag ass pants for you. Anybody that knew Hammer knew Hammer wasn't no joke. Okay, they said Hammer sold out. Okay, Hammer did not sell out. Hammer bought in. It's a difference. Okay. Hammer sold, Hammer made $30 million in one year. Okay. Made everybody, what the fuck? Okay. But Hammer also took care of a lot of people to the point, to to, to a fault. Okay. He took care of a lot of people to a fault. And he went, he went down with the ship. He, it, the ship stopped selling. He's still uh, paying for cars and leases or whatever the case may be. And his horses ain't winning no races, but he still kept doing what he was doing. Now, he ain't he ain't basic broke. He ain't as rich as he was, but he ain't uh he ain't poverty broke. He just ain't got all the money he used to have. He's still doing very well for a brother from, from Oakland. But at that time, him and Will Smith was two of the most uh disrespected brothers in the game. And they they still outlasted a whole lot of people. When the, when the game when the game changed up, they were the two focal points of hate hater raid in the streets. I said it again. I've said it before. I'm gonna say it now. The streets talked hammer out of his career. Will said, "Fuck y'all. I'm gonna keep on dancing, keep on doing these mama raps, and start making movies." Okay. Will said, "Fuck you." He told Wendy Williams, "I'll buy the station and fire your ass." <laughs> All right. That's how. That, that's how. That. That was his G, G move back then, okay? So that being said, man, um, you know, it just, it all depends on what you, uh, 
what you, what you wanted to uh, what you wanted to represent and how the how the, the streets perceived you. Meanwhile, the streets perceived something else, turned it into a uh, a common practice. Uh, well, I, uh, fuck that. They turned murder and drug sale into a common practice and a way to success. And we ain't been right since then. Man. We still ain't got back. We I always know how to break it down, Lonzo. We what what my boy what's my boy name from the movie uh Life? We can't get right. We still can't get right. And that ain't Hammer's fault. Yep. We bought into some bullshit and we can't get right. That's why we still having conversations about the N-word. We still having conversations about what who is what and what we gonna do. Everybody else is moving. We trying to figure out how we're gonna get get in the car. It's some bullshit. Ain't that crazy? That's some bullshit. Jingle lane, jingle lane. 